hello everyone so today we will discuss about about the troubleshooting part like uh, troubleshooting remote site branch office applications on its issues so most of the time you if you are working in a mnc okay you receive uh, the tickets like uh, user are facing some slowness user are unable to access any applications it's a intermediate issue sometimes they are able to access sometimes they are getting rtu so you need to check that either it could be any other reason as well right they are facing some issue so right now we are we will discuss about the related to performance so if you receive a complaint of slow performance from remote side so you may perform some steps user or multiple users are affected this issue and the last time it was successful like accessible is there any recent change in the environment so you need to ask that you need to check that next is if it is for single user and working fine for everyone so it's for a single user and working fine for everyone then you need to check working fine everyone in the same vlan right yeah. all user are in same vlan and for one it's uh, showing some issue but other are able to access it then we will identify the port where user machine is connected so it's a basic troubleshooting you need to do next check for any error on the port you need to check on the switch end l2 switch or any connectivity like uh, any l3 device is there right you can check that and port connectivity you need to check which may identify physical their problem as well okay sometimes port is break your rg45 connector is not plugged properly it could be any re reason so then we'll try to swap the connection to any other port and chip so it's a basic troubleshooting if that doesn't resolve we we'll replace the cable okay port swapping will not work then we need to change the cable next is point c if any hands and fit port engineer is available at site we may ask on site engineer to Next is laptop and test. If cable is fine, port is okay. So this is the next step. We need to follow that. If it's work fine on his machine, then there might be issue with the user machine. Simply, it could be any reason. Antivirus is enabled. It uh, not allowing the traffic from uh, the system, right? And NIC card issue and memory related issues. So. these are the possible scenario we need to check that and our next step is if the issue is with multiple user so what will be our step now then we will check for van utilization so what is the utilization of van link we need to check that there is a multiple software we can do Uh, we can uh, we we can use like uh, netflow if van link utilization is normal we will try to identify if the user belong to the single vlan switch modular stack etc and try to isolate any local site hardware like cpu layer 1 and uh, l1 fault faulty device so we need to check that in parallel we will check the van link as well if any error crc error is coming we will do the ping and trace for any packet drop any latency and if there are any we need to follow with the isp so this is the isp part uh, isp and like from edge switch uh we are uh, getting some error cs crc error is there uh, any exclusion so we need to uh, raise the ticket with isp and we need to follow the isp like why we are getting 
some packet drops and due to this multiple users are facing some issues so next isp saying there is no error then utilization is normal user machine are not connected to single common hardware but still there are issue of performance if there are no van error and utilization are normal and user machine are not connected to a single common hardware but still there are issue with the performance we will follow with the application owner cloud provider to identify if there are any application or server side issues we need to check that so next possible solution is we need to check if utilization is high so as i told we can check it using the netflow so netflow will identify and it will tell us which traffic is causing high utilization okay this could be the possible solution any ftp service is running any uh, scheduler backup is running we need to check that so next solution is next thing we need to check if traffic is legitimate traffic is utilization is normal either some application are working as daily routine then it may require a bandwidth upgrade or qos quality of service to be implemented to prioritize the traffic if the traffic is not legitimate then we may consider blocking some traffic these are the step by step you need to follow this and if the bandwidth utilization is normal and there is no issue at application level but still for performance is slow then we will ask user to provide trace ping result to see which hop is causing the latency so every time we request we check during the time of issue okay we request to user to share the ping and trace provide source ip and destination ip data if the hop which is showing latency is managed by us managed by network team <coughs> security team we can isolate the issue we can check cpu utilization because we have fully access we can check the all physical connectivity utilization and we can resolve try to resolve them. and if that hub is managed by isp we will open a case with isp internet service provider to, to troubleshoot the issue and check for further next possible solution is if application cloud owner isp and we are unable to find out any issue so we need to take the capture we need to debug this issue with all the stakeholders in a brief call so we need to check like in any tcp retransmission handshake is getting failed so basically we need to open a chat call for that so all team will join and they will check their end network will check their end like if any issue is coming to troubleshoot these issues there are some more points like mostly this step is miss what are the steps like post loneliness issues always understand nature of issues so it's very important like you need to understand like what is the issue okay what kind of the uh, what is the nature of issue this will entirely change the way you need to troubleshoot it will help you to understand and to resolve the issue so what kind of the you we can say the nature of issues like slowness happens at some particular time it could be any 
scheduler backup and job is running at particular time and that is causing the uh, bandwidth next is slowness happen at the time throughout the day slowness happening quite randomly slow since when this slowness is happening what all is running slow slow we need to check that it's a particular application and all applications are running slow wired user or wireless users or like everyone facing the slowness any vpn users we can add so this you need to understand the nature of issue as well so these are the steps you need to follow during the time of any application slowness issues and it could any local or branch office thanks everyone